YouTube back again with another full day of eating video and this one's going to be a little bit quicker than normal. Um, I'm not going to do any workout footage, it's just going to be three, maybe four meals depending on what I eat today. But meal number one, it is 10.30, getting ready to head up to the gym, I'm going to train some legs. I'm going to start off with two servings of apple cinnamon Cheerios and I hate the taste of cow's milk, I've always hated it. Uh, so I've been drinking hippie milk for the last few years. Um, and it tastes much better. There's no aftertaste at all. So I know a lot of people are kind of strange at trying new things, but this is actually delicious. So I'm going to have two servings of apple cinnamon Cheerios, one serving of almond milk, unsweetened. That's important. Uh, and I'm going to eat it with a fork because when I'm done, I'm going to use the cereal milk and I'm going to mix around uh, half a scoop of protein. So you get your protein, you get your carbs. You know how there's, um, it's cereal milk flavored protein powder. We're gonna actually make cereal milk protein and it's friggin' delicious. So, I'm gonna get this into me. That's meal number one. Man, I can't believe I haven't been doing that all along. That is perfect. You should already know how this goes. It's good, but it's not as good as Ritual. Multivitamin, which is one of these. $10 multivitamin, three months supply. Even if they don't do anything, they're so cheap it's hard to pass up. A little trend balloon. Just started the creatine. Look at that. Look at that. Just started creatine last week. Uh, I do feel like the weight's moving a little bit quicker. The bloat, oh my god, I am bloated for sure. I don't know if that's something that's gonna phase off. It is what it is, so you get the strength, but you also hold a little bit of water. It's not going to be the same for everybody, but uh, for me, I'm getting both. I do get asked a lot, do I take pre-workout every day? And the answer is no, two to three, two, to three times a week. I don't recommend taking it every day because you're gonna get addicted to it. And when you don't have pre-workout to take, your workouts are gonna be completely shit. Also, you're gonna build up a tolerance to it. So one scoop of this is gonna feel like fire for the first couple of weeks if you're taking it every day. Then you're gonna to have to take one and a half. Then you're gonna to have to take two. <clears throat> and that's gonna get expensive, so. Comment below. This right here, you probably can't read that. It says it's got 1,500 milligrams of creatine HCL, where this is 5 grams of creatine monohydrate. I don't know what the difference is. I do know that monohydrate has been pretty much the most tested supplement uh, and the only one that's really been proven to do what it says it does. So I get a kick out of supplements that say that this product increases muscle mass by 3,000%. Fuck off. It does not. It's Alrighty guys, back again, meal number two. It's 3.30 in the afternoon, I'm pretty hungry. Um, I did a big deadlift session, and then I played squash for an hour, so I'm definitely in a calorie deficit. And let it be known, you don't have to be a big chef um, to cook food that tastes pretty good. There's tons of the flavor and spices and things like that. So this is a big plate of food, but it's actually pretty low calorie. Majority of it are is, uh, cucumbers, tomatoes, basmati rice, mushrooms, and then I have three turkey sausages, um, very low fat, 10 grams of protein, 80 calories per sausage, um, using one slice of bread for extra carbs and fiber, and I'm dipping it in mustard. Uh, for anybody that's dieting, mustard is going to be a good tool for you guys to get used to, very low fat, low calorie. Oh, uh, I think there's no calories in mustard actually. Low sodium as well, so. 
Gonna get this into me, and I'll see you again for meal number three. All right, guys, it is the next day. I completely fucked up and I didn't film my third meal, uh, which is nachos on Doritos. The only way I make nachos now. Uh, we use low fat cheese and salsa, so those aren't really too bad. Uh, sometimes we slice up pickles, put them on. We didn't this time. So it was a bag of Russian roulette Doritos, um, low fat cheese, and just your generic salsa. Comes out perfect, they are delicious. So that was my meal three, uh, and I ate it and I completely passed out. Way too much carbs, way too much junk. So now this is going to be it for yesterday's video. But if you like the video, hit the like button, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel. I'm enjoying watching everyone's content. And I'm actually learning quite a bit too, so I have no idea why I do this with my hands. But we'll see you in the next video. Peace.